Hey what's up guys, this is Saman here from Explore Gadgets and these are 20 best Android games for the month of January. So let's get this started. First up, we have Dawn of the Titans. This is a mid-core strategy game with a lot more interaction, more action and a little bit more spark than you might be used to. You're playing the king of some floating island kingdom and you can call upon the services of a titan to fight for you against your enemies. Everything here is handled with taps and swipes, and it works really well. All in all, the game has amazing mouth-watering graphics and it's a game worth playing. Next we have Geometry Dash World. There are plenty of super tough one-touch games on mobile, and Geometry Dash World sits somewhere at the high end of that list. Here you're controlling a shape. The aim of the game is to bounce all the way through a level in a single run, and every time you die you're shown the percentage of the level you've completed. I have to admit it is very hard to play, and I almost had the urge to throw my phone away when I died at 95% because you don't have a save point and you have to start all over again. Next we have Legacy of Discord Furious Wings. Boasting eye-grabbing 3D visuals that takes on-the-go mobile action to an all-new level comes Legacy of Discord Furious Wings. You test your skills in many PvE modes including story campaigns, boss challenges and trials. With distinct classes to choose from, each with their own unique skill sets and loads of customization, you can't go wrong with this game. Next we have Gumballs and Dungeons. Gumballs and Dungeons is a free adventure and RPG game that gets you hooked. You have to control round creatures called Gumballs and raid dungeons. Not only that, you'll also have to produce coins every day to upgrade your armor. You can even challenge other players and experience different maps. If you are looking for an online RPG adventure game, this game is definitely worth playing. Next we have missiles. Here you steer a plane to collect stars and avoid missiles. Or you can use the whole screen or left right buttons to collect points and unlock new planes. The game even though having a simple logic, it is very addictive. But it is not as addictive as the next game called Super Toss Turtle. I played this game for about 5 straight hours after I downloaded it because the game has this alluring art style and very addictive gameplay. You basically launch a turtle or any other character which you can unlock afterwards and you have to make it travel as far as you can. And to do that, you'll have to use different power-ups and a launcher. Although you can unlock all the weapons and power-ups pretty fast, you still have an amazing game to chase high scores with your friends. Next we have Hot Wheels Race Off. The game sees you driving a toy car down a toy track. There are jumps, there are lumps and there are loops. And to get through them you've only got two controls. Tap one pedal to accelerate and tap the other to brake or reverse. When you're in the air you can tap the brake to tilt one way and the accelerator to tilt the other way. And you've also got a fuel gauge that you need to keep an eye on. Next we have Tiny Archers. Tiny Archers is an arcadey tower defense game where you take the control of a lone archer defending against hordes of goblins and orcs. The controls are simple. You touch and hold on the screen to bring up an arced path representing the path of your arrow. To adjust your aim, drag your finger up and down on the screen until you're all lined up. Then release to fire. But as easy as the control sounds, the gameplay is a little hard as in time you'll have to defeat harder enemies each with special abilities. But that is what makes this game challenging and more fun to play. Next we have Shades Combat Militia. Here you're going to face terrorists who have seized an office building. You control the character movement and look around carefully so as the enemies don't catch you at a weak point. You can also compete with your friends over Wi-Fi. For the 
Next, we have Smashy Road Arena. Your objective here is to outrun and invade various police, SWAT and military pursuit vehicles all while trying to pick up cash and usable items. And also you have to avoid dead ends, corners and sudden drop-offs. The controls are simple as can be. You tap the left side of the screen to go left and the right to go right. Overall, it's a good game to pass your time. Next, we have Tap Titans 2. If you're into RPG like tappers, then you're going to have a great time with Tap Titans 2. Here, you're a spiky haired hero with a big sword. You mash the screen and swing the sword, dealing damage to the bad guys in front of you. If you like tappers and you like cutting up big monsters, then you can't hate this one. Next, we have High Risers. Set in a building still under construction, your mission in this game is to dash up as high as possible until you eventually fall off. This game can be played just by tapping, but you have to tap carefully so you don't fall off. With nice arcade style graphics, a simple gameplay system, and infinite number of levels, this is a great game. Next we have Cubway. Cubway is a puzzle game with arcade elements. It also narrates the story of life cycle of rebirth called Samsara. Here you're controlling a red dot and you need to get it to a gate of sorts on the opposite side of the screen. Tap left and you'll move left, tap right and you'll move right. All in all, it's a great relaxing game. Next we have Neuer. Neuer is a simple game. You have to guide a black ball that is jumping on clouds to safety. The art style is unlike any other, which looks kind of fuzzy and looks great in my opinion. The levels seem easy at first, but it gets harder and harder, but that doesn't change the fact that it is a fun game to play. Next we have Dancing Line. Here you guide a line through a constantly changing world by tapping to the beat of the music. The game starts out easy. But by the time you progress to the second level, you'll find the challenge ramps up dramatically. The overall look of Dancing Line is simplistic and clean, and it is very fun and engaging. Next, we have Highway Traffic Racer Planet. This arcade racing game will have you racing on a highway with almost no end. Your main goal is to go through the dangerous highways, pass through traffic, and explore a mini planet with different environments. You'll be collecting cars and map parts to unlock premium content. This is one fun game that is easy to play. Next, we have Baiko. Baiko is a mixture of Tetris and Scrabble. Randomized letter blocks first fill across the screen and falling blocks gradually fall and stack the pile higher and higher. Your objective is to tap on the correct letters in the correct order to form a word at the bottom of the screen. Once you form a word, you swipe it and eliminate those letters from the pile. It seems easy but it actually isn't, when you have to find the words that are jumbled and find it fast so that it isn't game over. Next we have Rocket Boat Pilot. Rocket Boat Pilot is an action and adventure platformer which features a unique graphic style that mixes classic minimalist pixel art with modern 3D rendering techniques. The game tells a humorous story giving nods to nostalgic gaming and sci-fi cliches, conspiracy culture, the Illuminati and even hackivist group Anonymous. Next we have The Little Fox. The Little Fox is an auto runner in which you, the fox, set off on a universe spanning quest to find a missing prince. The game features beautiful looking levels that has relaxing and atmospheric music. Even though the fox is running very fast and you are failing continuously, you will certainly find this game fun. Next we have Not Fun. Not Fun is a great game to pass your time. All you do here is untie knots that are jumbled up. There are 5 levels of difficulty where the highest difficulty will have more number of knots to untie. If you like untying knots, and if that's your thing, then you might like this one. 
Well, that was it for this video, guys. Leave a thumbs up if you liked it, subscribe for more, and as always, thanks for watching, and you guys have a great day.